Coming to you from Radnor, Pennsylvania, this is your Location Lifestyles update. Hi, I'm Nasir Ransom and this is Location Lifestyles. And I'm Emily Krause. Real Housewives of New Jersey star Teresa Diugice will return for season 7 according to Radar Online. The reality star and ex-convict has served her 11 months in prison and was released in late December 2015. The show has stopped filming awaiting her return. The show will capture her transition back into society and the final moments before her and husband Joe Diodice say goodbye as he turns himself in. Joe will be serving 41 months in prison. The new season is set to premiere this June. Wow, well that is very interesting. Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth were spotted together at the Hollywood movie premiere of The Huntsman Winter's War. The couple was there in support of Liam's brother Chris Hemsworth who stars in the movie. The couple decided not to walk the red carpet together in hopes of keeping it low key. Miley and Liam are in a really good place in their relationship right now according to E! News. It's great for them. Starting April 22nd for Franklin Square's 10th anniversary, the park is putting on the first ever Chinese Lantern Festival in the Northeast U.S. The park is located at 6 and Race in downtown Philadelphia. According to VisitPhilly.com, the festivities will feature 25 Chinese lanterns, handcrafted giant flowers, a 200-foot-long Chinese dragon. All pieces were made by artisans in China. Tickets are $17 for adults and $12 if you're 17 or younger. Cabrini seniors are patiently awaiting graduation in May. Location got the chance to talk with a few seniors about their best moments, biggest regrets, and what they will miss most about Cabrini. I don't want to wait for senior year to be over. Why can't I just get a job right now? I'm nervous. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I need a job. So my best memory here at Cabrini, I guess, has been just like making the friends that I've made throughout my four years. <laughs> My favorite memory from Cabrini is probably playing tennis with my brother. We got to play doubles together. My best moments at Cabrini would be winning three city sack titles with the volleyball team and celebrating with the other teams at Cabrini. My most embarrassing moment is coming to my 815 <laughs> class um, the day after my first St. Patrick's Day being 21. My most embarrassing memory of Cabrini probably was the other day I tripped going in the Founders and my sandal fell off, but yeah, that was pretty embarrassing. My most embarrassing moment is probably all the times I showed up to a class when it had been canceled because I didn't check my email that day ten times this semester. I'd say my most embarrassing memory of my time here at Cabrini was the time I fell through the window in Woodcrest when I was on the roof. It's pretty embarrassing. <laughs> My biggest regret would probably be not starting directly at Cabrini because I had to transfer after a semester from Westchester. My biggest regret is not going to the library as much as I should. My biggest regret in my college career was putting up with crappy roommates every year. My biggest regret um, since freshman year probably would be thinking that I couldn't handle doing sports and academics and then not fixing my procrastination problem. <laughs> I think my biggest regret um, for my senior year was not getting involved uh, sooner. I got pretty much involved on campus like my junior year. The most I will miss about Cabrini is all my friends, especially the ones that I've met and got new friendships within the last couple of months. Um, I'm going to miss seeing all my friends. I mean, once you have a major, you start having classes with the same people over and over again, and you just make great relationships. Um, with graduation just around the corner, I picked up my cap and gown today, 
It's pretty bittersweet. There's a lot of mixed emotions. What will you miss most about Cabrini? Yeah, I do regret not shaving. I didn't know I was going to be on camera today, so thanks. <laughs> the commencement events will be held on May 22nd with the undergraduate ceremony beginning at 10 a.m. and the graduate ceremony starting at 2.30. That is so exciting, but yet so sad. So close. Well, Glee star Leah Michelle got a new tattoo in honor of Corey Monteith, who died back in July 2013 from a drug overdose. The tattoo is the number five, which symbolizes Corey's jersey number from the character he played on Glee. She tweeted a photo captioning it, and one more for my quarterback, number five. Leah had also gotten a tattoo of a coffee mug in honor of her grandmother, who died this past week. I think it's so sweet when people get tattoos in like honor of someone. Yeah, it's a great way to remember them. Mm -hmm. Cat Board will be hosting Epic Week, April 24th through April 29th. Madonna Monday, Taylor Swift Tuesday, The Weekend Wednesday, Third Eye Blind Thursday, Betty Wap Friday, and Sublime Saturday round out the week. It will be complete with talent shows, fairs, bingo, a barbecue on Thursday, and a dance on Friday. Tuesday that day, all classes are canceled. Wow, well, I'm definitely going to check out Fetty Wap Friday. But Rob Kardashian decided it was time to put a ring on it. He proposed to Black China after three months of dating with a seven-carat rock. The couple has already began revealing their wedding plans, which includes the fact that China will be rocking two different dresses on her special day, according to E! News. Rob, on the other hand, is trying to lose weight by being trained by none other than his fiance. On China's Snapchat, she posted a video of Rob stepping on the scale, weighing in at 248 pounds. Rob is hoping to drop down to 200 pounds before the big day. That's great for them. Mm -hmm. Lindsay Lohan is also engaged to Russian business heir Igor Tarabazov. The 29-year-old actress and the 22-year-old have been dating for the past seven months. TMZ broke the news yesterday that they were engaged and Lindsay's family could not be happier. Lohan, whose probation ended back in March of 2015, is looking forward to living life sober with her new fiance and working on many new projects. Well, that is really good to hear coming from another redhead. <laughs> but anyways, Megan Fox has baby number three on the way, which led to many people questioning, who's the father? Fox posted a collage on Instagram of photos with her co-stars, Shia LaBeouf, Will Arnett, and Jake Johnson with the hashtag, not the father. Fox has two other kids with Brian Austin Green, whom she had married and divorced. However, the divorce paperwork filing has yet to be completed, and the baby on the way could be Green's, according to E! News. Wow. So much drama this I past know. week. <laughs> Thanks for watching Location Lifestyles. Don't forget to follow us on our social media platforms by simply searching Location News. I'm Nasia Ransom. And I'm Emily Krause. Have a great week, Cabrini.